This is off the cuff with your boy B. Ryan and Mike. How you doing, buddy? Dude, I am so freaked out and paranoid. <laughs> Why? Because I watched that Jeffrey Dahmer Yo. docudrama last night. Yo. And literally could not sleep. Yo. So I was watching that like with my girl and like I think it's it, you hit the nail on the head. We were kind of messing around with it before we decided to jump. Because it was spooky. Like it's it's spooky, dude. And there's something about watching that. I was nauseous. Yeah, nearly uh, watching that. And it was just episode one. In the way they get right, into episode five. one for this, it's the number one show on Netflix right now. So much buzz about it. Everybody talking about it, Braylon, and. Because you know the story, like our age group, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, this is early nineties. I remember when they called him. I, I remember know what happened in jail when he got like three three months in. And you killed. just you just think yeah. about how these people, serial killers in general, yeah. have this uh, life about them, where they just walk the earth and they blend in so well with society. In and the they, meantime, they're, they're killing. They're, Creating and killing havoc and killing and evil terror. It's the other thing about it is they walk amongst us and they try to get caught and mm. can't get caught. They try to get arrested and can't seem to get arrested. I know the times are different. You know, you look at the sixties and seventies and eighties. You look at Dahmer and Gacy and Bundy. Like those guys kept getting caught and kept getting away. But the thing that's so spooky, without giving away to the people listening and watching, is. With all those guys, you saw like that psyche. You saw like where the switch flipped, or you mm. saw where okay, you know, mother is messed up and she's a drunk, father's abusive, or there's some level of uh, you know sexual abuse or something like that. You, you get it, you know. It's, it's still what they do is messed up and it's evil. But with him, it's so purposeful and intentional and so unremorseful, and there's not a switch that flips. Like he purposely moved into a black community. In the late in the 80s where no one was caring about black people where it was crying it was terror black people were coming to missing all the time not only that braylon but uh, gay. black gay people which which that's a double negative yeah. they didn't care about black people they damn sure don't care about gay black people and he's purposely going to the black spots like boom taking one home boom boom come back the next day boom boom like that was purposeful and intentional but that's nuts and then you see you know one of the things with this show too is and I kind of compared it to, you know, I don't know if you ever saw Mark Harmon in The Deliberate Stranger. Oh, 100%. Um, outside of of uh, one Mark. time, maybe, where, where, where Mark Harmon is bludgeoning the girls from Florida State with yeah. the log. Not that that's not brutal, but you really don't see the murders. You see the yeah. abductions. You see, yeah. But you, and then your mind is yeah. left to imagine what happens. You're visually seeing a head in the refrigerator. An apex predator. You're, you're literally seeing blood drip from a knife. Um, I'm and a drill. Six, so I've and, seen more than you. And hearing some of the, the sounds of, of cutting up the bones and everything through the, the ventilator. Um, just the sheer terror that this dude caused. And like you said, kind of in plain sight, this wasn't some two bedroom bungalow. I mean, this was in an apartment complex with the neighbors who heard sounds, who called the police, who knew something was going on, Dude. who smelled horrific smells, Ryan. and he continued to get away with it. Ryan, I know you're behind me, but the, he legitimately, and you can just read this in the newspaper, you can look it up, he legitimately went to jail for a year, only for a year, for drugging a 13-year-old boy and trying to have sexual favors with him. Like, he went to, like, the court, the judge knew exactly mm -hmm. what happened. He pleaded no contest and got a year in plain sight. Man, the thing also you, we talked about that's kind of interesting is, you know, they kind of prop the the Wayne, the, 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 the John Wayne Gacy's of the world kind of, they make you feel a certain way about mm -hmm. him, you know, so especially with the Ted Bundy's when it comes to women, it's, Look how smart he was. Yeah, look, look how, how handsome he was. Look how handsome he was. You heard the judge say that in both in all three trials. You know he goes to uh, Was University of Washington. Like he's this intelligent individual. You never see it. They glorify, you know, the disconnect or whatever. But with Bund, I mean, with with, with uh, Dahmer, 
they're showing you the apex predatorial nature mm -hmm. that was him. They're not, they're not glossing over it. They're not glorifying. They're like, no, this guy was this, and this is what the guy's doing. And I'm wondering, not that it matters, but like, is it because he's gay? Because they don't do that when it's like, you know, a, a man back in the 70s and 60s like messing with women, but when it's gay, it's like, oh no, we gotta tell you the true predatory nature. And the news element to that, Netflix took off, you know how they have um, uh, different tags on yeah. each show? Yeah. They took off the tag LGBTQ ah. because of the outrage that they were getting from the LGBTQ community because it was, I mean, it, it, it's, it's an element, it's a part, yeah, but it's not. It's not uh, the full story. It's not the full story. So yeah. you know that was a, a tag when it first came out, along with words like horror and and ominous, yeah. uh, psychological, which those three are still the tags for it. But there's so many different elements to it. In in uh, I read uh, it was the she was the African American the neighbor female cousin or sister. She was the sister. Uh, she went nuts in court uh, right, at right, the right, right. Uh, victim impact yep. statements. Uh, she was saying, look, this I, I don't need to watch this. This literally pisses me off that this was made just so this streaming giant can make, more, uh, money. make more money. You're forcing me to relive uh, these these moments. I don't need to. What's your thoughts on that? I, I, look. You see both sides. No. I, I, you're capitalizing on somebody's grief devastation yeah Ooh. like, like yeah. you're you're just capitalizing on it and you know does this story need to be told why did ted bundy's story need to be told why did any of these stories need to be told so i understand that element to it but as a family member you have to be somewhat uh sympathetic to them as well now she admits she was not contacted for this movie or anything like that is that because they didn't want to pay her or is that oh, because they didn't want to limit um if they didn't want to subject her to relive these moments. No, um, so like, I do, I hate to walk the fence on this. I see both sides, but if you are a victim's family member yeah. who is now forced to, it, it's in the New York relive. post, it's on cable news, it's on sports podcasts. Whenever they hear that name, yeah. like there's certain individuals that would, that have to deal with trauma. So, you know, surrounding individuals that created that for <clears throat> a nation or for families. Like when she just hears the name Dahmer, mm. it's got to fuck her up. Right. And, and, and how about in the name too, um, family members won in this respect. You remember, uh, what's the song from Katy Perry? Um, a dark horse. Oh yeah. Uh, in dark horse, Katy Perry, there's a line in there. Um, going to eat your heart out like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, the Katy Perry removed that line from that segment of the song in dark horse because of the, the impact and yeah. the backlash that it had on family members. I feel for these family members because this, this show is getting so much talk. I mean, hell it drew us. We were sitting there we having shooting lunch, the breeze, shooting yeah. the breeze. We're like, why not do this with some microphones in front of us? Because so many people are talking about it. I am going to watch episode two i was unclear if i was going to keep going yeah. because of the way it made me feel it made me feel sick to my stomach literally nauseous uh before i went to bed last night so i'll watch episode two because now i hear it does go back to the beginning i want episode six, so yeah tonight after the show like i'll be on episode six so maybe we'll talk more about this another time yeah, we got to man all right we off the cuff braylon ryan out